This morning, Rockstar published a Newswire article with lots of information on all kinds of stuff. GTA Online updates? Oh, you betcha. A reminder that they're expanding and enhancing GTA 5 and preparing to sell everyone the same game again? Totally. But then they said something else that left everyone feeling rather expanded and enhanced themselves. With the unprecedented longevity of GTA 5, we know many of you have been asking us about a new entry in the Grand Theft Auto series. Uh-oh, where's this going? With every new project we embark on, our goal is always to significantly move beyond what we have previously delivered. And we are pleased to confirm that active development for the next entry in the Grand Theft Auto series is well underway. That right there is weird to read. Rockstar actually acknowledging the next Grand Theft Auto? Or hell, a new project in general that isn't entirely related to an existing online game? What year is this? How long have I been asleep for? The funny thing is, I didn't even get this announcement from seeing the article originally. I saw a screenshot that somebody took of this that they put on Twitter, and I almost thought it was a joke. Yeah, it's been that long since Rockstar ever brought up anything related to a brand new GTA that I almost didn't believe that they'd really announce a new one anytime soon, even though it's obvious that they'd be doing something new. It's just that the idea behind it became almost mythical in a way. Their way of bringing it up is kind of funny too. GTA 4 was officially revealed by Peter Moore at E3 2006 via Tattoo. GTA 5 was officially revealed in 2011 when Rockstar tweeted hashtag GTA 5 and gave a link to its website. The first reveal of the new GTA, which will likely be known as GTA 6 or perhaps GTA Online 2, got shoved in at the end of an article about what's next for GTA 5 and Online. Now, I don't like to think of myself as a pessimist, but part of me almost wonders if this is because they're well aware of the backlash towards almost anything they've done recently. Remember when they made a big announcement at the PS5 reveal? That's where we found out that they'll be selling us GTA 5 again for the third time at full price. And when they revealed what this edition looked like, it looked like the PC version with extra bugs. And then there was the definitive edition. Oh boy. That probably received the most sudden backlash from fans that I've ever seen out of a Rockstar title. It was so bad they had to apologize for it. Which still begs the question, how many people there were aware that these were not exactly ready to be released? It's obvious that QA would have probably documented most of what we came across while playing, but the decision was still made above their heads to have these pushed out the door. Even official publications couldn't ignore that they weren't worth 60 bucks. Not only that, while GTA Online is undeniably very popular, how many people who played on a regular basis would still want to see something new, instead of the same old game you've been playing for 9 years getting constantly updated? So what better way to jumpstart everyone than to announce a brand new GTA? I don't know. Hey, at least we have official confirmation of something new out of them, but I just wonder now when they're going to show off more about it. As long as GTA 5's enlarged and supplemented edition isn't delayed, then I wonder if maybe we'll see something by the end of this year. We may, or we may not. It's gonna be another waiting game though, so once everyone who's actually excited or hyped about this calms down, then I wouldn't expect to hear anything else about it anytime soon. And for those of you who aren't as hyped or excited, well, I guess it's back to business as usual then, huh?